Welcome to this video on Windmill's local development. We've explored most of the Windmill's platform's features and now we'll cover how to interact with Windmill locally and show how to set up a Git workflow thanks to the Git Sync feature. For local development, you can use the Windmill CLI to sync and interact with your workspace from your terminal. Using a simple command like Windmill Workspace Add, you can connect to the right workspace, then pull its content, view diffs and apply changes. Here we see that the script has been pulled, and when we open our code editor, like VS Code, the script is already there and synced. If you use VS Code or Cursor, Windmill has an integration that lets you stay inside your editor. You're connected to your accounts and workspace and can run scripts or flow directly from the IDE. It automatically fetches any resources or credentials you have access to, so there is no need to leave your development environment. For example, we'll run the script we built back in the first video, this time from VS Code and the execution works just as expected. We make a small change, save it, and push it back to the workspace. Windmill detects the update and syncs it. The changes are reflected immediately. Now, the Git Sync feature also works the other way around, automatically. Git Sync connects your Windmill workspace to a remote Git repository, giving you version control, collaboration, and deployment workflows. Once your workspace is connected to a Git repository using a custom URL and token, Windmill can push scripts and flows back to Git based on your configuration. You can define rules for what gets synced, specific folders, users, or file tabs. You can choose whether content is pushed directly to main or whether it changes to create pull requests instead. This lets you set up a more advanced Git workflow with staging and production branches, reviews, and CI integrations, all fully compatible with how your team already works. And that's it. You now know the full range of what Windmill can do, from writing code and building flows to designing apps and syncing everything to Git. Thank you for watching this series on Windmill. We hope it gave you a clear view of how to build and automate with confidence.